Hi, Patrick here. I have Cheetah World View. Uh, so this is going to be a debut of a of a series. I hope I can manage to do throughout the year. Uh, I was challenged by somebody to uh, read fifty two books in uh, fifty two weeks, um, and so I said, well, "Okay, why not?" I've been on a reading jag the last six seven months, so I I accepted it. Uh, so basically, I got to read a book a week uh, or any sort of combination between now and the end of December. So I thought I'd go ahead and kick off the first book with 2011's Livewire by Harlan Coben. Um, um, it says here, uh, a beautiful woman walks into Myron Bolotar's office asking for help. Asking for help should have been a dream come true. Only this woman, Susie T., is no is in tears at eight months pregnant. Uh, Susie's rock star husband has disappeared and she fears the uh, rumors questioning her uh, baby's paternity have driven him away. For Myron, questions of fatherhood couldn't hit closer to home. His own father is clinging precariously to life, uh, and the brother who abandoned his family years ago has resurfaced with danger following close behind. Myron is soon forced to confront deep secrets in Susie's past, his family's mortality, and his own. So, yeah, it's a it's a corker of a book. Uh, this is one of the books from the Myron Bolotar series. I, I've already read two. I read the spinoff called Wind, which was very, very good. And I also read Home, which I also thought was really, really good. Um, Harlan Coben is new to me, so to speak. Uh, I'm not really, this is only my third book of his, and he's written a ton. Um, I only discovered him because uh, John Sanford, who wrote, uh, who wrote the, uh, Lucas Davenport series kept on mentioning him within his his own Lucas Lucas novels, so I was very curious. So I went and got um, I got Win, and uh, I was hooked. It's a very good. It's very well written. It's very exciting, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So I thought, well, why not? I'm going to get into the Myron Bolotar series. Um, this is for, like I said. This is this is an older book. This is from 2011. I read Home, which is much more recent. And when was really recent. So I was recognizing uh, pieces of story when I was reading Livewire. I was recognizing pieces of story that I've heard about or read about in when and in home. Um, Myron Boltar is, 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 is a sports agent. He was going to be a, a, a pro basketball player. But his very first game in preseason, he blew out his knee. And um, he couldn't play anymore. So he becomes a, a sports agent. And uh, he is also joined by his, he's got a faithful little crew around him, uh, Big Cindy and uh, Esperanza, uh, who help him run his uh, sports agency. Uh, and then, of course, we have Wynn, uh, who is um, sort of like a Bruce Wayne in the modern age, but, but without the bat suit. Uh, very wealthy, very powerful, could get things done. And him and I, Myron are our best friends. So, uh, so, but one of the, and the story concerns two people that, that Myron wants, uh, that once Myron actually, uh, uh, managed, uh, Kitty and, um, this girl named Kitty and Susie T. And, uh, we find out that, that while they were rivals when they were playing, uh, when they were playing tennis, uh, pro tennis, um, both of them have gone on to just have, you know, both their lives are really, really, uh, uh, self-destructive. Uh, well, Susie uh, got managed to get cleaned up. Uh, Kitty uh, ended up marrying Myron's brother and causing even more uh, destruction by her, either her own self or her actions. Um, and so, uh, and Susie looks to be uh, living a, a somewhat better life, except that all of a sudden on her Facebook, someone writes down, it's not his. And that causes her husband, uh, Lex, one half of the powerful rock band, uh, horsepower to mysteriously disappear. Uh, Myron gets involved and discovers that Kitty is uh, involved in this, and Kitty is, happens to be his sister-in-law. <laughs> uh, Kitty is also an active heroin addict, which is not good. Um, so all sorts of shenanigans start to ensue. Um, is uh, And, you know, like who... Uh, Livewire was once powerful, but they... Uh, uh, Gabriel... Gabriel uh, wire he uh 
uh, he disappeared. He went he went Howard Hughes like uh, after a, a a young lady was killed during one of their after parties. Uh, he just disappeared. Um, Lex Ryder married Susie, and he's still active, um, but you need horsepower to you know. People keep on waiting for them to resurface, and people keep on going to this very extremely private island to try to get glimpses of Gabriel uh, Wire. Um, so, the mystery is to find out who wrote the, the message on, on the social media post that caused Susie's and Lex's marriage to start to crack. Uh, and then when tragedy strikes later on, um, well, wind jumps into the fray as well. And the mystery is to find out exactly what is happening to who and by, and who is orchestrating it and for what reason. It's a great book. Um, I can't really, really detail too much of it because I give the, it'll be a spoiler. But let me tell you, uh, Harlan Coben can write his ass off uh, very much like John Sanford can with his Lucas Davenport Virgil, uh, Virgil Flower series. He keeps the he keeps his books very tightly wound till the end. You really don't know what's happening till literally the last like ten or twelve pages. I mean, you you think you know, but you really don't. Uh, and it was no different from uh, Livewire. I I didn't see the ending coming at all. Um, it's it's uh, and that's even and that's even with clues. Uh, or even small recaps about the two books I read just recently, I still didn't figure this out. I still didn't figure that out, which I absolutely loved. I love being challenged by a good mystery. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm new to Harlan Coben. Uh, he's written a lot of books. A lot of his uh, uh, a lot of his works have been converted into miniseries on Netflix. There's a lot of them out there now. Uh, I think they've done eight. They're supposed to be working on, on the Myra Bolotar series, they, uh, uh, Amazon announced it. Uh, we'll see when that happens. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of rich material to be mined from it. That's for sure. Um, like I said, this came out in 2011. It's 384 pages long and it will fly. It will absolutely fly. Um, highly recommend this book. Highly recommend the author. Um, I definitely would get into it if you're like a mystery. Um, and there's, there's, there's some violence in there. Uh, there's a little bit of violence in here, uh, justifiable, <laughs> uh, definitely, uh, uh, Wind is a, definitely a fun character for sure, um, he definitely reminds me of Hawk, uh, from Spencer for Hire, uh, you know, from the Spencer series, he reminds me of, uh, Max the Silent from the Burke series that was written by Andrew Vax, um, so he's definitely, uh, he's definitely interesting, uh, supporting character. And, um, yeah. All right. That's book one, book one of 52. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of the series. If you, if it's something you think that, uh, you'd like to hear about, like to see, uh, if you, if you, if you read any books yourself, drop them in the comment section. Do you have any suggestions, any suggestions, uh, please drop that down in the, in the comment section as well. I will be taking. I will be taking. Uh, um, um, I will be taking suggestions on this. Um, I don't know what the next book I'm going to read. I don't know what it was going to be. I have a stack of books. I'm going to get even more uh, from the library. But for now, we're off to a roaring start with Livewire. And I, I hope you enjoyed this review. And we will talk at you soon. Peace.